Hello everyone, welcome to LRDA Prep. My name is Amir Sardana and in this video, I will be discussing with you a previous year CAT paper, CaseLet, which is based on the concept of average. Average, as you know, is one of the important topic. Uh, every year you will find a set on this, on, on the concept of average. And the important point here that we are going to cover is that how to solve the question without making equation, right? You try to find out the solution of this set, right? You will definitely find a solution which is equation based approach, right? I will be telling you the trick, the concept of solving the question in a very easy way without making any complex equation, right? So let's quickly have a look at the information of a set, right? It's a caselet, no data table, bar graph is given, simply a caselet is given. You just need to understand the basic information here. There's the only information and then you have the next question here on the screen. So let's quickly understand. See that any time, every time you're solving a DI set or caselet, just understand the story behind it, right? Just read the instructions carefully because that's the foundation of the set. It says Venkat, a stockbroker, invested a part of his money in the stock of four companies and these four companies are A, B, C, D. Each of these companies belong to different industries and these industries are CMET, Information Technology, Auto and Steel. So four industries, right? The four industries this set is talking about. What are these four industries? CMET, Information Technology, Auto and Steel in no particular order. That means which company, the company A, B, C, D belongs to which industry, we do not know that because it's mentioned in no particular order. At the time of investment, the price of each stock was rupees 100, a very basic information that you can keep in your mind. Venkat purchased only one stock of each of these company, he was expecting returns of 20%, 10%, 30%, 40% .30 respectively from the stock of the company A, B, C and D. The word mentioned is respectively, that means A is supposed to give you a return of 20%, B is supposed to give you a return of 10%, C is supposed to give you a return of 30 and D is supposed to give you a return of 40%. Returns are defined as a change in the value of stock after one year. For example, if you are purchasing a stock of 100 rupees and the stock is giving you a return of 20%, that means you will be getting a 120 rupees as a, as a total amount finally, that, that's your complete return principal plus uh, the return that is 20%. So if you are investing 100 rupees in stock A, you are expected to withdraw 120 rupees at the end of a year, right? During the year, two of these companies, now here's the story that is starting that you need to understand. Two of these companies announced extraordinarily good results. One of these two companies belong to the same or IT industry. Extraordinarily good result mean one of the companies giving you a return which is more than its expectation. For example, if I'm saying that A is that company which is giving the return more than its expected result. So the expected result from the company A is 20% and more than expected result mean the company is, is giving you more than 20% return. That's the meaning of extraordinary good performance. While the other one belongs to either the steel or auto industry. Now, the company that are giving you more than the expected result, one belongs to the C meter IT and the one belongs to steel or auto industry, right? As a result, the return of the stock of these two companies were higher than the initially expected returns for the company belonging to the CMET or IT industry. With extraordinarily good results, the returns were twice, the word here is twice that of the initially expected return. That means a company which belongs to CMET or IT industry uh, IT industry is giving you a twice of the its expected return. So whatever was its expected return, now that company is giving you twice return. That means if earlier the company was giving you a return of 20%, now the company will be giving you a return of 40%. If earlier it was giving you a return of 10%, now it will be giving you a return of 20%. Okay. And for the company belonging to the steel or the auto industry, the returns on the announcement of the extraordinarily good results were only one and a half times. That means one and a half time means if earlier the company was giving you a return of 20%, now the company will be giving you a return of 1.5 times, that means 30%. If the earlier company was giving you 10%, now 1.5 times of 10%, that is 15%. Okay. For the remaining two companies which did not announce extraordinarily good results, the re returns realized during the year were the same as initially expected return. 
So you see that once you understand the story, just try to make a basic structure of it, right? That helps you in solving the question. So what do we have? We have four companies, A, B, C, and D, right? 20% is expected return from A, 10% is expected return from B, and uh, C is giving you the expected return of 30% and D is giving you the expected return of 40%. 20%, 10%, 30%, 40%. Now, a company which belongs to, so this is the, the whole story that, that we are trying to make a structure of it. So these are the expected return and the company which belongs to CMET or IT industry is giving you twice of the return and the company which belongs to steel or auto industry is giving you a 1.5 times of the return. Now when I say that a company is giving you twice of the return, that means 100% extra return, right? When you make a value multiplied by 2, the increment is 100%. 2 times means 100% increment. If your salary becomes 2 times, the increment in your salary is 100%. So a company giving you twice of the return will be giving you 100% extra return. So let's write down what are the extra returns in these cases. The company, if company A is one of the company which is giving you twice of the result or 1.5 times of the result, the extra return that you will be getting from A would be 20%, 100% of 20%. 100% of 10% is 10%, 100% of 30% is 30%, and 100% of 40% is 40%, right? And if one of the company is giving you 1.5 times of the return, if, if your salary is becoming 1.5 times of itself, the increment is 50%. If your salary is becoming 1.5 salary, that means there's an increment of 50%, right? So, 1.5 times result mean 50% extra return. So I'm writing only extra returns here, right? So 1.5 times 50% extra means 10% extra here. 50% of 10% is 5%. 50% of 30% is 15%. And 50% of 40% is 20%. That's the whole story of this complete case let. That's it now. You don't have to read the set again. Based on this information, you can solve the complete set. The first question is, what is the minimum average return Venkat would have earned during the year? The minimum average, right? The question is asking you the minimum average return Venkat would have earned during the year. You see that if none of the company is performing extraordinarily good results, that means none of the company is giving you more than the expected result, then what is the return that you are getting? The average return in that case would be 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 30, 60 plus 40, 100. The average of 100% return is equal to 25% return. That's the, that's the case when none of the company is giving you the extra ordinarily good result. Now, but there are two companies which are giving you more than expected return. That means extra ordinarily good results. So now if I want to increase this average by a minimum percentage, I need to choose the two values, one from this row and one from this row so that summation of that value become as low as possible. Because summation jitna kam hoga, average mein increment bhi utna hi kam hoga. Aur hum kam summation is le rahe hain, because question mein minimum average hum se poochha hai. So what is the, what are the two values that you will pick? If I ask you, pick one value from this row and pick one value from this row, so that the summation come to be as minimum as possible, one thing that you need to make sure is, the return, uh, the, the values that you are picking should not be from the same column. It's not that you have 10% or 5% pick karlo. Ekhi company do different result nahi de paayegi. Either one of the company will be giving twice of the return or 1.5 of the return. So you need to pick one number from here, one number from here, but not from the same column. So the minimum submission you can see is possible only when I'm picking 10% from here and 10% from here. Any other two values will give you the summation as more than 20%, right? In this case, you have two values, so the summation will come 20 se zyada aega. Minimum return, karna hai, so sum will minimize karna 20 plus 5 will be 25, 30 plus 20 is 50, 55, right? 
So minimum return is possible when you pick 10% return from here and 10% return from here. In that case, the extra return is 20%. And that extra return 20% when average out on the four values will give you 5% extra. So your average, minimum average, without any extraordinarily performance, extraordinarily good performance, the average return is 25%. And the minimum possible increment is 5%. So the minimum average return that the Vankit would earn would be 30%. So option one is the answer to the question. That's it. No need to make any equation or anything else, right? Straight away you can answer the question, right? Just by using the common sense, average minimum tabo ka just summation average, uh, summation minimum ka because average is a term which depends on the summation of the total values, right? Average is sum of total values divided by number of total values, right? So submission minimum hoga, average minimum hoga. So though minimum values ko pick karke, aapko average out karna hai. So minimum return would be 30%. That's the answer to the question. Thank you so much for watching the video. And next video, I will be discussing the question number two. Let me show you the question number two. You try it by yourself. A very tricky question. Most of the books uh, and uh, you know, a different platform have given the solution of the question using equation approach. But we will be learning the approach of solving the question without any formula, without any equations right with the basic common sense okay so one question number one has been covered question number two will be covered in the next session please go through the instruction part again and uh, my referral code for unacademy plus subscription is LRDA smear if you want to attend my live sessions on unacademy plus this is my referral code that you can use thank you so much and please subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends thank you